Hey everybody, I'm Jack Rita. I'm a designer with Future Pastimes, and I'm one of the designers of the Choman Riches expansion, which is the second expansion for the classic Dune board game, the 2019 edition. One of the variants in that game is something called Leader Skills. And these are cards that you are dealt at the beginning of the game that will enhance one of your leader discs with unique abilities uh, and other advantages. And there is a link in the description to a, another video that goes more into leader skills in general. In this video, I'm going to do a deep dive on a particular one, and that is the smuggler uh, skill. So this is a fun skill because it's going to give you an additional advantage that you can use for as long as you have your smuggler. Uh, and then when this particular leader is in a battle, you'll have another advantage that you'll be able to use. So let's take a look at what the smuggler leader skill does. Um, so while you have, uh, you have a leader that you will assign to this skill, and that will be out in front of your shield, so everyone will know which leader has this skill. As long as it's out there, uh, whenever you ship forces from off-planet uh, to an empty territory, uh, empty, so nobody's, nobody's there, it doesn't matter about spice, just matters about, uh, matters about forces, um, you may bring one additional force for free. Uh, so that's a nice way to get some extra forces onto the board, uh, save some money. It works with a rich S no field. So that's an important uh, little tidbit there. Ship down a no field and you can bring in another force for free as long as you're shipping into an empty territory. Now, if you have your smuggler in a battle, uh, you put the skill into the battle plan as well. Um, and then if this leader is in a battle, you're going to collect one spice for each point of strength of this leader from the battle, this uh, the territory that this battle is in, if spice is present when the battle plans are revealed. Now, if your leader's killed, this effect no longer takes place. But guess what? You don't have to have won that battle. Your leader just needs to survive. So if you've got uh, the defense or they just don't play a weapon, then uh, you'll be able to get uh, some of that spice even if you were not collecting it with your forces. Or if you have just a smaller number of forces, maybe you had to dial higher than you wanted or even full dial, you'll still get some of that spice. So you are incentivized to have a leader with a decent number on there. If it's just two, two spice, probably not worth it too much, but four or higher, then, then you've got uh, something that you can get out of those battles, even if they don't fully go your way. So this skill, again, it's it's only when this leader is in battle that you get to do this part. But this other part where you're shipping an extra force for free, that's just a new advantage that you have for as long as you have that smuggler. So some of these leader skills will give your all of your leaders a uh, benefit in battle. This one does not do that one for you. The smugglers would rather be smuggling than fighting if they uh, if it's up to them. So that's how the smuggler works. Let me know if you have any questions about this particular leader skill or leader skills in general. Um, I like them because I think it, it just adds a little bit more uh, interplay. It makes choosing which leaders uh, you take as a trader, which leader you assign a skill is a little more of an interesting exercise. Um, and that's all clear in that other video. So if you wanna know more about how the leader skills work, how it changes up the start of the game, uh, watch that to get that information. That's it, everybody, for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.